Okay, I'd like to welcome you out to another snippet. This one here, I'm going to focus in on uh, running open DNS to help help to uh, not only speed up your internet access uh, or name resolution, but also for families to uh, not necessarily completely stop, but definitely put a dent in uh, uh, stopping uh, inappropriate websites from coming up. Um, the first thing you want to do is come to open DNS itself, uh, and that's just opendns.com. From here, you're going to see several things. First of all, their main screen itself. Uh, a couple things you may want to take a note of is, first of all, at the very bottom of the screen, you'll see the IP addresses for OpenDNS. These IP addresses are the IP addresses that you're going to need to plug into your router during the configuration of your network. The other thing you'll see is up at the top, you'll see your own IP address being listed. Um, I've blurred mine out, obviously, so that you can't see mine, but you want to make a note of that IP address as well. Now, OpenDNS has a free service for home users. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click here for home use, and it's going to take me, it's going to tell me about either being a premium DNS server or, you know, if I'm trying to make my internet faster or if I'm trying to protect my family. In this case here, I'm going to go ahead and select I'd like to protect my family. And again, they do sell a, uh, a, a paid version, um, which has uh, more, more um, features associated to it than the free version. One of the features that I like is that, uh, that the paid version gives you, the other ones don't, um, is it gives you tons of reporting. So you can, for a longer period of time, you get some reporting with the uh, free product. Um, and boy, I wish I made some money off of this by recommending it, you know, a kickback or something. Maybe I can talk to OpenDNS about that. But what I would probably do, again, if you're just trying to make your, your home secure, you could definitely start off with just the family shield. Uh, you can upgrade at any time if you would like to a newer version, or excuse me, to the paid version of OpenDNS. And they just go through here and show you the comparisons of what, uh, um, what OpenDNS uh, can offer, at least for, this is just a quick and dirty pre-configured to block adult content set it and forget it. They also have, uh, this was the original one that I signed up with. Uh, back in the day, they only had the uh, free version and the paid version. Um, so you just go through the sign up process. If you decide you want to purchase, again, you can just select to buy now. Uh, they tell you the differences that you get. Some of the stats that you get um, will include, uh, again, a lot of, um, uh, you know, what's the most popular sites, what's the least most popular site, how many times was it was it visited. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to come in here just like to sign up now. Now I probably won't be able to uh, fulfill the full sign up because of the fact that my IP address has already been registered with them. But I'll try to take you through as fast as much as I can. The other issue that you're going to have is with DNS, most ISPs um, uh, rotate your IP address. They don't give you a static one, for example, Comcast or, or DSL, unless you actually pay for a static IP you're going to have some hoops that you're going to have to jump through um, that OpenDNS will help you work through to uh, get it to work so that when your IP address changes with Comcast or whoever, um, they, um, um, it, it'll update it with OpenDNS. I'm going to go ahead and continue here without actually setting up. Now, here's what's nice. It's asking, you know, how do you want to do this family shield? Do you want to do it for your router or for your computer? Uh, if you have a router... Um, I would definitely go this one method. The computer method would probably be for somebody that's just maybe tethering on a uh, phone uh, without going through a, a, an ISP service. They're just doing you know, mobile, mobile routing. So I'm going to go ahead and select the router. It goes through. You can see very easily. Uh, it says, hey, take a look at these pictures and these different brands. Uh, you know, which one is yours? Uh, mine happens to, well, I'm not going to tell you which one mine is. I'm just going to go ahead and select here the old standard Linksys. And just because I'm a security freak, I don't want anybody knowing anything. Uh, so here you can see they walk you through. You're going to type in the IP address. This is the default ad address for your, um, for your router. And they're going to walk you through step by step on what you need to change. And what they're going to have you do is inside of the uh, website for the router, you're actually going to change... Um, the DNS servers to be pointing towards open DNS and not to your ISP. Your ISP uh, forwards all requests out to just the standard root of the internet and therefore you know when you type in something for example that you know uh, I don't know uh, playboy.com uh, it immediately routes. The concept here is that with open DNS 
they actually track sites that they would uh, deem inappropriate. Um, and basically, they're based off of adult content, and they put it in their own list so that when you try to type in, for example, you know, playboy.com, you're going to hit the open DNS servers, and it's immediately going to shut down and say, sorry, that site's not allowed. So they're just going to walk you through. After you're done, they're going to have you test your settings. It says, my, my family's now protected, and that's cool. After you're done, I'm actually going to jump out of this. Uh, and I'm going to jump into my environment here. I'm going to sign in. And this is what the paid version gives you is, is a lot more flexibility. For example, so that first one was just a family shield that blocked all adult content. But maybe I'd like to block some additional content. I can come into, once I uh, set up an account with them, I can come into the, my dashboard. Uh, after I've signed in, I can select my settings. And here you can see that um, basically the IP address again that I uh, that's registered. Uh, you can have multiple, so in case you uh, I don't know manage multiple IPs, I guess. And here's where you can go through and select what you'd like to block. For example, you can do a whitelist, which means basically block all the sites except for whatever you flag is not to be blocked. We also have high, moderate, low. I'm a big custom guy because I like to go through and say things like, you know, I don't want to have any adult themes, no dating. My kids don't need to be worried about dating right now as far as, you know, adult dating. No nudity, no pornography, no file sharing. I don't have to worry about people loading up uh, uh, or trying to go to uh, websites where they're downloading um, uh, pirated software, that which is notorious for having malware, spyware, and uh, backdoors built into them. So you can go through and you can configure them exactly what you want. Um, what you can do is, for example, one of the things I've done is I've gone through and said, you know what, let's go ahead and block social networking. Now that blocks all social networking sites. However, me and my family, we do do some Facebooking. And so what I did is I came down and selected to never block and typed in the uh, name for uh, Facebook. So there it is right there, facebook.com. Uh, just a heads up for you, you'll also want to unblock this one right here, which is the YTIMG.com. This uh, helps. This is also another uh, feature of Facebook. I believe it does something to do with the uh, pictures that you're dealing with. So you can go through and say, you know what, always block those. Or you know, maybe you don't want to block uh, all uh, travel sites. So instead, you can just say, come in here and, you know what, let's always block, uh, you know, um, what's a famous travel site? Um, um, oh, come on, uh, cheaptickets.com. So now I, I'm, I can see every other travel site except for cheaptickets.com, and I'd just like to add the domain. It does take about three minutes for it to actually populate out. So that's just a, a quick um, a synopsis of, of how you would configure it. Again, some of the cool things is you can come in and look at your stats and logs. You can go up to your stats section or the other side that had my logs. Here I can see, for example, um, bandwidth or excuse me, domains that are being not, um, requested. Uh, I can come in here and put in, okay, what domains have been blocked? And you'll see some domains here blocked. Uh, someone's tried going to Twitter. We don't do Twitter in the, in the house. Uh, stumble upon, we don't do any of that. Uh, TMZ, we don't do any of that because they have you know, lingerie bikini on it. Um, uh, here's this funny games biz because of uh, it being an adult theme. So you can see where you can go through and say, you know what, again, uh, please show me between. Matter of fact, this is one of the paid feature versions where you can go through and select, you want know to choose a date range. Please show me from one date to, uh, to uh, you know, since January 1st until today. Hit apply. And this would be, again, the sites that, that got blocked. Um, I can also go through and just say, you know what, please show me sites that were blacklisted, blocked by, blocked by category, uh, that were, you know, smart cache is uh, open DNS's version of speeding the internet up for you, so you can see which ones are, uh, where you're getting the better performance. Um, you can also just say, you know what, show me everything. And so you can see, you know, what is the, I hit apply, uh, what is the most popular site? Looks like Google happens to be one of my more popular site in at ARPA. Uh, this is a reverse D, um, for reverse DNS lookup. Um, so that's more geeky. Don't worry about that one. 
But again, with this, what this does is allows you to go through and say, you know what? Okay, hey, who went in? Who went in and took a look at? Matter of fact, here, let's go back and do the sites that were blocked. And we'll apply that. Come on, there we go. And we can say, okay, someone's trying to go to Twitter. There's tried somebody tried to go to it 56 times. You can either make an exception for this domain from here, or you can block the entire category if you want, which was again social networking. Some of the other things that you can do with the paid version, uh, excuse me, no, this doesn't require the paid version now that I think about it. Um, this one you can do on the free version. Where is it at? You can do custom screens. Oh, come on, maybe it's, it's got to be in your settings. Here we go. So under customization, you know, I've gone through and you can upload your own company logo if you want or family logo. Um, you can go through and you'll notice here for guides, uh, guide with my message. It says the search brought to you by Smarty Pants and Open DNS. Uh, if they get a blocked page, they're saying Dale Meredith is now being emailed about the site you visited. Um, and if they, uh, if they have an individual domain blocked, uh, they'll sorry, say sorry, you know, this particular domain is blocked by Dale Meredith. Um, so anyway, you can customize this a bit if you would like. So once it's deployed, what you, the next thing you'd want to do is go to your routers. In this case here, my router happens to be on 10.10.10.1. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And so again, what we want to do is make sure that under our setup section, that we have that again that we are pointing the primary and secondary DNS servers to those two IP addresses um, that OpenDNS provides for us. Once we've done that, then when we try to go to a website, for example, like playboy.com, we should get a blocked message. It says Dale Meredith does not be an email. By the way, uh, I don't get an email, but uh, uh, misinformation is sometimes the best information when it comes to our kids. Um, it tells us why it was blocked, and if they want, they can contact the network administrator, which in this case here, they know his dad, uh, and this did get recorded. It did get recorded in the reports that it was being blocked. So hopefully that will help you out a bit on how to go through and configure OpenDNS um, and uh, helping to make your network infrastructure a little safer. Thanks for joining me.